everyone, Kelly Schaffner here. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a pretty big thrift haul. Yes, this is Dollar Days from my local Goodwill and this is actually the second half of the haul. The first half was kind of a Valentine's theme haul. I picked everything up on Monday, Dollar Day. It's actually 99 cent day at my local Goodwill. So if you want to see what I purchased to sell in my Poshmark closet, please stick around. I'm pretty excited about some of these pieces and I'm actually looking for springtime pieces to add to my closet. But I did get some winter stuff. And I'll start with the winter items. The first thing I got is this super cute jacket. I should zip that up, right? <laughs> anyway, this is what the jacket looks like. This is by the brand Ephesy. And I've never heard of that brand. This is a 2X and that played into my decision to purchase that this jacket, the size and the price. The price was right. This jacket is in great condition. And it has a look like suede, but it isn't. It's actually incredibly soft, almost like velvet, but the inside of this jacket is fleece. And did you see all that embroidery detail? There is texture on that as well. So yeah, I couldn't leave this one behind. I thought it was really cute. And I do not want more winter items in my closet, but look at this sweater. If you have been following me and if you watch the box swap I did with Carrie from Carrie T Says, I will link that video above. I found a sweater very, very similar to this and I sent it to Carrie in our box swaps. So I was so excited to find this little sweater for myself, for my Poshmark closet. It's actually the same exact brand, which is a Revy, a Rev. You see it there? This one is a size small and it's a little bit different than the one I sent Carrie. It is in the mustard color and it does have the textured bobbles on it, has the lace detail. This one has a tie on the top, but also the lace like peplum on it. I think this is lovely. So I was excited when I saw it and I could add it to my closet. It's a size small. I wish it was my size because I think this is such a lovely piece. The next piece is a brand that I had never heard of, so I did look it up while I was in the thrift, and this is the brand April Cornell. Can you see the tag there? Size large. This is kind of a cream-colored crochet cardigan. It's absolutely beautiful. It almost looks to be handmade to me, but it's not. Look at the detail in this sweater. It is so pretty. And I could see this one styled with a graphic tee and denim, but also this would look lovely over a dress. I was happy to get this and the comps on this looked really decent. The next piece is a blush pink sweater um, by Kenzie. This is almost, I didn't even notice that it had the kangaroo pockets right there, but I'm just, I wanna show you the true color and I don't know that my camera can pick it up, but yeah, this is by Kenzie, Kenzie, what does it say? Kenzie Performance, okay, can you see that? So the band around there says Performance. So it does have the funnel neck and it also has the tab sleeve. This one has quite a bit of pilling on it, so I need to work on this one a little bit more before I do get it listed. But other than the pilling, this performance top is in great shape. Okay, now we're moving into more of a springtime vibe. This is by the brand Chalet, and this is a size large. This is a mint, like a very pale mint colored burnout cardigan, and it does have the asymmetrical hemline doesn't have any pockets. Oh, it does. I'm lying to you. It does have pockets. Okay, I do think I have a cardigan in this haul that does not have pockets. But yeah, this is just an open front cardigan, size large, beautiful color, but really, really lightweight. So it'll be a nice springtime piece and all the way into summer, actually. So the next cardigan is Old Navy. Look at this one, though. Isn't it cool? Okay, so whoever had this cardigan actually put a safety pin in it. So this is an 
open front cardigan and I just need to take that safety pin out but they did a really good job of pinning it. It does have the asymmetrical hemline. It's shorter in the back than the front. This one is a size extra large by Old Navy and it's a cream color. Maybe I wouldn't even call it white because it's not stark white. My sweater's white. Is it white? I don't know. Anyway, I, I like the size on this. Old Navy does pretty good in my closet. People know it. They like it. They know what to expect. And I always like to pick up these larger sizes. The next piece is Lucky Brand. This is really, really thin. Very sheer. I can see you right through it. But I picked this up because look how pretty the colors are. This is almost like a nylon type fabric. It is a split neck. And it does have the ties right there, but I just like the print on this one. And again, Lucky Brand is a brand that does really well for me in my Poshmark closet. So I didn't want to leave that behind. The next one I picked up because I really like the colors and the fabric feels marvelous on this one. This is Michael Kors. This is a size large and such a beautiful color blue. This bottom part is sheer. And I think the sleeves on this are kind of fun too they do have that i'm about to fall over here they have a stripe down the sleeve so i didn't want to leave this one at the thrift store yeah this one needs a second chance okay this piece is urban outfitters this is truly madly deeply and of course i was drawn to it because of the polka dots but let me see if i can show you it does have a bit of a oh, it has my hair i don't like black. I don't like the lint on black, but this does have a bit of a puff sleeve on it. It has a deep scoop neck and it is like a tunic length and the this one is a size medium. So, okay, not quite springtime, but this one is in perfect condition, so I really didn't want to leave it behind. Look at those awesome sleeves. Oh, I love a good sleeve. J. Jill, need I say more? This is actually a burnout. This is a v-neck burnout, size large, purple and purple and purple. Okay, I think we're moving to dresses. Look at this beautiful dress. This one is Alfani. This is Macy's. This one is a size 2X. It's a polyester dress with awesome sleeve detail. That's actually fringe. You see that? The fringe detail on that, this beautiful black and gray, a little bit of white dress. I think this one is so pretty. Again, perfect condition, and that deserves a new home. This one, I don't know. I don't know if this is the best buy. It's not a bad buy. Someone will enjoy this dress. I saw the tag. This is Loft. This is a polyester dress with a drape neck on it and I have a lot of loft in my personal closet. I have had no difficulty selling it on Poshmark. It doesn't sell for much. But when I looked at the tag, I noticed this one is actually loft outlet. So that's a lower price point. This one is an extra small as well. So this one might take a little while to sell. It's in great condition. It's missing the belt. And I don't think that's really a big deal because most people would add their own belt or you could even snip these off and wear it without. But nice career piece would look great with a blazer. Okay, let me know. Is this the prettiest dress I picked up? The Alfani dress is gorgeous, but look at the colors on this. Does this say Easter or springtime to you? I love this dress. You'll never believe who this is. This is Kato. Kato, which is a not an expensive brand, but boy, is this cute. So I had to pick it up. This is what the front looks like. It does have all of that crochet detail and the beading on it there. It does have a hidden zip in the back. It's almost like a halter style neckline, although this looks very bra friendly to me and such a lovely, it's almost a coral it is coral. What am I saying? Almost a coral. It is a coral um, print. Look at this, girls. Pockets. The This one is an 18W. I think this one is gorgeous. Okay, let me know. Is this the best dress or I have more to show you? Okay, look at this one. This one's pretty special as well. This one is ANA, Anna, and this one is a 1X. This is a super soft brush knit 
fabric, great dress for spring and summer, don't you think? I think this is a super summer dress. Now, let me show you one of the really cool things about this. It's sleeveless, but it has this insert, and you can see it even here. It has the insert, so it's almost like a built-in tank underneath, but wouldn't that be fabulous so you don't have any bra showing out the side of your sleeve there? This one does have a cinched waistline, but yeah, there is a little bit of elastic in it, but it is, you can tie it and adjust it how you like. It's going to be about knee length, maybe just a little bit longer than that, but such a pretty color. Perfect spring and summertime dress. Am I going into coral overload? I found this dress as well, another coral piece. This one is a size 10. It's by the brand On Focus. This is a complete polyester, 100% polyester dress, and isn't it cute? This dress was brand new with tags. I did pull the tags off. Well, I, yeah, I pulled the tags off to wash the dress. This has an attached belt, but I it, this one is still attached. I didn't realize it was attached there, so I did want this to be clean and odor-free. This is really cute. It does have the elastic at the waistband, but it's kind of got a blousey top and a more fitted um, bottom. So yeah, this one is brand new, but washed by me. Okay, now this dress is a size two. It is little bitty, but isn't it beautiful? This dress is 100% silk. This is Banana Republic. I couldn't leave a silk dress behind, not when I could bring it home for 99 cents and see if I could find it at home. It's so beautiful. This dress could be dressed up or down. I mean, I wouldn't wear this one with tennis shoes, but I think this would be a very nice dress to wear to the office. And look at that pockets. It does have the hidden zipper in the back, but this dress could be worn with a blazer, with a cardigan, could be worn with some red shoes and a red necklace for Valentine's Day. I mean, this one is really a wardrobe staple, size two, not even close to anything I can wear. Okay, this is INC. This could be worn for Valentine's Day, wouldn't you say? This is actually a tank top that I just think is so pretty. It's all crocheted, it's fully lined. There is no bra. I like when tanks like this have the shelf bra in them, but this one does not. This is a size small, but yeah, really pretty. And it would be nice to have in my closet for festival season. This is a brand I do not know, but this top is gorgeous. Dana K, size 24W. Did you get a look at the fabric? Is it gorgeous? It is so pretty. But when I stand back like this, this could be a staple. I mean, it's cream, but it does have that gold shimmer in it. I think this one is lovely, and it is fully lined, so it needs to come home with me. I'm real happy to have this one. I still haven't looked it up. This one was so pretty, I didn't care. I wanted it. This is the same thing. This is another brand, perhaps. It is Vintage MKM Designs. This one is... 2x a size 2x this is velvet this is a velvet tank in absolute perfect condition so yeah i thought i would bring that home this is what it looks like real happy to have that okay this is a perfect springtime top although this is a piece i would wear year-round because i think navy just all 12 months you can wear it navy now this one is by the brand westport 1962 this one is a 1X. This is a scoop neck. Can you see the ruffles on this? This is all ruffled, tiered, polyester, top. Love it. I see this one styled with white shorts, white ankle skinnies, white crops. I mean, or with a pair of denims. I mean, it's just a lovely top. This is one that my mother picked out. Is it a good pick? This is actually Sonoma, and that is Kohl's. So this did not cost much to begin with. It's really soft uh, brush knit fabric. I do like the crochet detail in it, and it's almost a cap sleeve top. So a nice casual piece, nice for summer, size 2X, and I'm always happy to add plus size to my closet.
Okay, now this one is a gamble. Look how pretty it is. This is a magenta button up, split neck, tab sleeve. <laughs> the brand on this one is Motherhood Maternity. So one of my favorite reseller YouTubers, her name is Alicia and her channel name is Murrayed Life. I will leave a link to her channel in the description box below. She is a big seller of maternity and she's really encouraged her viewers to give it a try because she can't keep it in her Poshmark store. So when I came across this top, it was not in a maternity section. It was amongst all the other tops and I saw it and I thought that's very pretty. It's in perfect shape. And then I saw the brand, Motherhood Maternity. And I thought, Alicia, I have been watching your videos and I'm going to take your advice. And I picked up a maternity piece. Now one piece is probably not enough to entice someone to buy maternity from my closet. So I did end up getting two pieces. Please stay tuned. I will show you the second maternity piece that I got before this video ends. Okay. So next up are a pair of wide leg pants and these are the fold over waist pant. Look at the funky print on these. These are Cynthia Raleigh and they are a size small Small or extra small, let me check. Yeah. So these are a size small. I picked them up because I think they're very funky, very cute. They do have the fold over waist and I should have, I should have probably folded them and hung them that way, but use your imagination. Now, these don't sell for a whole lot. They go anywhere from like $12 up to $25. But my nieces really like these pants. So when I saw these and the price was right, I thought I'll bring them home, I'll give them a try. The next piece I got, I, I have something similar to this in my Poshmark closet and it truly, it hasn't had a lot of interest, but I couldn't leave these at the thrift store. These are linen and these are from Lauren, Ralph Lauren. So yeah, the thing I like about these, these are a crop style linen pant, 100% linen, but the way they are styled with the five pocket styling is more like a denim. So these, again, like I was saying, imagine, this top, styled, mm -hmm. it's gonna be so cute for spring and summer. Navy, I'm telling you, it's such a versatile color. I really like it. So I did decide to pick these uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren crops up. Okay, and then this next pair of pants, these are another pair of soft pants, maybe, maybe even pajama pants, but I looked them up and they don't seem to be lingerie or you know what I mean lounge pants but they certainly would be great lounge pants these have pockets and these are by the brand freckles so can you see it freckles I I think this is just a boutique brand but I did find it on Poshmark comps weren't great I'm hoping to get $15 for these these are a 2x I just think they're too much fun not to get and they do have a little ruching right there. So yeah, I, did, I needed to bring these home. The last thing I got, I don't, this is probably a mistake. This is LuLaRoe. This is extra, extra small. It's so hard for me to leave the really cool prints of LuLaRoe in the thrift store. I don't wanna see them go to the landfill. Look at this, all of those sunflowers. This is a maxi skirt, again with the fold over waist. But I don't know. I really don't have a lot of interest on my LuLaRoe stuff, but I, I just think this one deserves to be saved. This is just a polyester maxi skirt. And although it is an XX small, these are generously sized. So anyway, okay, I'm, I'll let you know how my LuLaRoe does. So you know that every video I pull a few pieces from my personal closet because I'm on a mission to get my own closet streamlined. The first piece that I am selling on Poshmark, you may recognize this because I just recently made a video wearing this top. It's kind of a patchwork piece by Umji. It does have that split sleeve, which is fun. It also has that cross front and it really does cross. It does have a what is it, a modesty snap there, but I wore this the other day and I thought it looks good in pictures, but it, I, I don't want it anymore. Okay, and the next piece that I am listing in my Poshmark closet is this green sweater. This is by Halogen. Oh my gosh, it's a petite. 
that is probably why I'm not real comfortable with it. It's a little bit short on me, but look at it does have the balloon sleeves and a nice cuff on it. It's in perfect shape. I just am not real comfortable with the way it wears. Now the last piece that I was going to sell, I decided not to sell it, is this sweater. This is also halogen. Look, the tag is falling off it. But yeah, I just got this washed and when I was steaming it, I don't know if you can see it, but there are some bleach spots on it. I go a little crazy with bleach. I bleach my dishes before I put them in the dishwasher. So this is probably a house cleaning shirt, but you know what, I think I'm just gonna donate it because I don't wear it much. The next section that I visited in the thrift store are the scarves, and I normally don't spend any time looking at scarves to resell, but the scarves were on sale for 25 cents. There was a great big bin full of scarves, so I thought I'll take a look. And this is one that I found pretty quickly, and this is Hello Kitty. I did do the comps on this. I ran comps on this, and it sells, this exact one sells for about $12. Now, is this one, you guys tell me, because I am new at this thrifting. So it still has this tag on it. Is that from the Goodwill? Does the Goodwill put that tag on? That was all that was on it. But I did notice the tag here. Actually, what does it say? Emma, Emma Ruz. So I picked this up because some of my adult girlfriends are still into Hello Kitty. So yeah, I'm hoping to get about $10 for this. And this is the second scarf that I picked up. Again, it has the barb on it. So that's probably just from Goodwill. But I started feeling this scarf and I could tell as soon as I touched it that this is 100% silk. So it's kind of pretty, isn't it? I like the colors on it. Again, Valentine's Day, it would work. Now, as I was going through it, I did see the designer on it. You see that there, Diane von Furstenberg. Now the label here says Diane von Furstenberg, the color authority. So let me show you there. See that? I did check the comps on Poshmark and the first thing I saw is someone has this exact scarf on sale in Poshmark for $157 and I got really excited. But the sold comps on this particular scarf are anywhere from like $30 to $45. Still such a great deal. I mean, I'm into this scarf for $0.25. Cents. I think it's beautiful. It's 100% silk. Diane von Furstenberg, The Color Authority. If you know anything about The Color Authority, please hook a girl up. Let me know in the comments about this there's still more stuff to show you, but this video has gone on long enough. Before, before we wrap this up though, I do wanna show you the last piece of maternity wear that I found. So we'll see how this one does. This is actually a bathing suit bottom, and this is by, this is by Motherhood Maternity, and it's called Beach Bump. This is a size large and does have tags on it. The tags on it say $5.99. I don't know if that was a Goodwill tag or what that was. Anyway, these are brand new. They still have that hygiene plastic paper, whatever it is. So this is kind of like a skirt bathing suit bottom. Does have a nice waistband on it. These are really nice. I could see myself wearing these. I don't know. I'm excited to try out maternity and I think I will start looking a little bit more and being intentional about adding maternity to my Poshmark closet. I will let you know how these two pieces do if there's any movement. It honestly might take me putting more maternity in my closet to see any interest there. But yeah, I'm happy to add these brand new bathing suit bottoms. Okay, okay. Honestly, this is going to be the last piece. I really wanna share this with you and see if you have any ideas or any knowledge about this. I'm going to call this a corset, but I think that this top probably was with a two-piece set. 
That's my guess on it. It is a corset top. There is boning in it. So boning is that structured um, like rods almost to, to give you an awesome shape. And it does zip up, which is really nice. There's a hook and eye closure there. And this is a sleeveless satin. This is acetate. And so acetate and satins and stuff like that are usually only made in garments that like special occasion garments because they have to be dry cleaned. They're pretty delicate fabrics. Now, I picked this up because of the designer. And the designer is Jessica McClintock for Gunny Sacks. And this is the Millennium 2000 collection made in the USA, size 11. So I do need to research that. Is this a Junior's brand? I don't know. And one of the things that almost prevented me from getting this, I know, I pick up Loft Outlet, but I almost didn't get this. Well, and I'll show you why, because if you look right there, I think you can see the stitch marks. Somebody had taken this and altered it to shorten the straps. And when I saw it, it was a terrible alteration too. It was done in white cotton thread but because it was such a terrible job I was able to easily take those stitches out so this does need to be dry cleaned and hopefully all of that creasing will go away I don't know I this piece intrigued me I'm kind of curious to see where we go with this piece any ideas about this, I would sure appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me for another thrift haul. You guys are awesome. I know this one is a long one, so thank you for sticking around to the very end. If you have any information about the items that I'm unsure of, please leave it in the comments below. Help me out because I'm pretty new at this and I really appreciate all of your tips and tricks. You guys have been so good to me. And for that, I thank you a million times over. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already because I have more thrift hauls coming. My next video is going to be an unboxing. If you enjoy unboxings, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one. I'll see you very, very soon. Bless you.